Hey guys, this is Melanie, your girl, AKA the Brownie Queen. I'm here today at the New Vision Cafe to show you guys a little bit about our good organic gluten-free brownies done the right way. But we're gonna start with my homemade gluten-free flour blend. The base of this flour is completely made out of oats. Everything is gonna go right into the bowl, everything. This is a one-shot deal. You don't need a bunch of utensils. It's easy. Put this in with a cup of sugar, organic cane sugar. And then we're gonna go and use our dark, rich, organic cocoa powder. I love to use the dark one. I love to use dark chocolate all the way around because of the high antioxidants. So we're gonna put this in. This is a half a cup of dark chocolate, cocoa powder, gluten-free um, baking powder, and that's two teaspoons. We're gonna stir this up. We also have a teaspoon of salt in here as well. We like to put that in there just to um, enhance the sweetness, enhance the vanilla flavor as well as the chocolate flavor. And it should look a little bit like this. Nice and dark brown. It's already a great base for a great brownie. Then right in the center of this brownie mix, we're gonna put our wet ingredients. Right now, I actually have some rice bran oil, so we're gonna use a half a cup of that. We're gonna use our organic vanilla bean extract. You wanna use a good quality vanilla. That's gonna really enhance the flavor. If you use imitation, unfortunately, you're not gonna get the flavor that you want. We're also gonna go in, and all we're gonna use is a cup of water. So you can use room temperature filtered water. That's it, that's it. Everything's in a bowl. Now we're just gonna mix. We're gonna mix until it's well combined and it's nice and smooth and chocolatey and you can smell the aroma. And this is my favorite part because not only do I love baking, but the smell of chocolate is the best, the best. <laughs> so we're gonna get this nice and combined and smooth. And it's okay to put a little muscle into it because it's gonna be a bit of a thick mixture, but it's brownies. It's gonna be kind of fudgy, chewy, that's what you want. So now we got everything well combined, and you wanna make sure that you mix really well so that the granules, the sugar granules, dissolve well, which is why we're using that room temperature, room temperature to warm water. You want that to help dissolve some of that sugar and the salt and all of that as well. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. Smooth chocolate brownie mix, love it. We're gonna pop this in the oven, put this in a pan, and then in about 25 to 30 minutes, we're gonna take out the finished product and I'm gonna show you guys how to really plate it up. So now we've pulled our brownies out of the oven, so they're nice and piping hot, so please be careful. Definitely use your oven mitts. Um, we wanna let this rest for at least two hours. And the reason is because when you're doing something that's gluten-free, organic, and vegan, you have to remember that there's really nothing holding it together like eggs or dairy or anything like that. So you really want everything to settle, cool off really good, and you're gonna use kind of like a cookie cutter. I'm gonna use this size, it's like a medallion size. And you just go in, and you press down. And you wanna get the brownie out, pop it out, right? Let's get that out, that cookie cutter. Right? Mmm, that's that dark chocolate. I love it. I have some organic fresh whipped cream here on the side, some strawberries, some roasted pecans, and some homemade vanilla bean caramel. Can't get no better than that. And I'm gonna just show you. You take a little mini ice cream scooper, and you just scoop it right on top. Right? Doesn't that look pretty already? And we're gonna use a little bit of the caramel. We don't have to put that on all of them, but I like to put them on some of them along with the roasted pecans because it just, it sets it off and it's delicious. So we're gonna just drizzle some of the caramel on top. That is gonna be so good. And the best thing about this dessert, especially because it's medallion size, is that 
You can have one or two and not feel guilty. You can't get any better than that. So you're getting your fiber, you're getting your protein, you're getting your omega-3s, and you have your dark chocolate in there to get that antioxidant effect as well. So I'm gonna just take a few of these, and I'm gonna chop them up right here on the table. It's a clean table, it'll work, right? And we're gonna just take our, our knife and we're gonna chop these up. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? See, now this is my type of brownie. And I don't feel guilty about it. I enjoy it every single time. My children enjoy it. I mean, it's just delicious because I'm eating oatmeal and flaxseed. <laughs> Can't argue with that one. Just add that on the top, make it look nice and pretty. So when you're trying to keep the sugar levels low, this is a great option to go with. Just a little bit of strawberries on top, even blueberries sometimes. That would work great. I want you guys to feel comfortable in the kitchen. I'm hoping that out of this, this segment, you guys really were able to learn how to create and make an organic, gluten-free, vegan brownie. It's easy, the kids love it. Every family member will love it. Even if they don't love chocolate, I'm telling you, they will love this recipe. And for more recipes or to order my products, you can go to thebrowniefactoryonline.com or you can just give me a call at 631-796-3998. I'll see you guys soon.